is fragile, so we set ourselves a challenge to see how we could protect an egg from breaking when we drop it from a height. So our teacher split us into groups and gave each group an egg to consider. We measured its height and used a piece of wood to measure around the fattest part of the egg. We described the egg using words like tin shell and fragile. We then thought about making a container that would protect the egg when it dropped. We needed to use materials that would cushion the egg and absorb the impact when it hit the ground. Our teacher set up a shop and each group had an imaginary 20 euro to spend. The shop sold things like tin foil, cotton wool balls, bubble wrap, foil trays, straws, paper plates and sellotape. We looked at the items and came up with a design for our egg protector. We had a budget to see how much of each item we could afford to buy. We wrapped the egg in bubble wrap and we put it into cotton, cotton balls and we're going to put in two kimball trays around it to make sure it doesn't break. We're making what I like to call the bubble wrap. Egg cushion. The centre of the egg will be covered with cotton balls and, and from the from mostly in the inside it's going to be surrounded by tin foil. Okay. And out in the centre it will be tin foil. We then bought our materials and built our design. Once we were all ready we took turns testing our product by standing up on the table and dropping our protected eggs. That didn't survive. That couldn't have survived. Oh, it didn't survive. survive. No. <laughs> Three, two, four, drop. Oh my god, oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! percent success rate in our experiment. We learned that the eggs that were more secure and cushioned did not break. Yeah.